Hi, good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, okay, so I did a tutorial earlier on doing the ear, and I'm pretty much done with the ear. I think it's it doesn't really warrant much more work. Um, okay, so I'm just looking for now for more differences between the pic the drawing and the picture. If you see any, you can type them in. So I'm looking now at the shape of the face, the nose. Now someone actually complained about this nose to me. They said something that was very valid, so I better take a look at the nose now. So getting up close, let's look at this nose here. You can kind of see why I created those highlights. They really are there, but I think maybe they're going maybe more in this direction than they are in the other direction. I had them kind of reversed. Now this upper part is a little too dark. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lighten it. I think it's a little too dark above this sh highlight. I made it a little darker than it should be, which is what creates um, the illusion of the divot in the nose or th that it has a um, a shape that I don't think he has. I don't know what you call this kind of shape. Turkey, someone called it a turkey blossom on the end of your nose. Or I don't know if that's related to alcohol, but I don't think that Botvinnik was dr a drinker. I know Tall drank. Um, but I don't have the nose quite right. And I think it's because I made, I made this part right here. I'm gonna bring you closer for a minute. I think I made this part too dark and I'm just gonna, gonna hold this really close for a second and fix that. So you can see, okay, I'm just gonna lighten it just a tiny bit. See that little speck? I'm gonna get rid of that speck. And that speck. I'm gonna to try to make it look more curved, less pointy. Okay. Okay, now over here, let's look at some differences here. Um, this part of the nose, this upper, no the nostril, and over here. So I think it's just not, it's just not this, quite this light. It's just, it's just darker. It's just gonna darken this. I'm gonna borrow some of the, I'm gonna borrow some of the charcoal, okay? from the nostril and push it up to darken above it. That'll change the shape of the nostril. Okay. Um, I still have this kind of turkey blossom, whatever. Now I can maybe, it needs to be darker over here. If you, so at the tip of the nose, then there's a very dark shadow here. This shadow is almost as dark as some of the darkest parts of the picture. And I still have not made it as dark as it is. I'm, by the way, I'm using um, a super hard charcoal here. This is what it looks like. I think it even has a number on it, but it's too small. I can't read it but it's, it's very hard, so, which means that when I press it against 
the picture, it, it is not going to make a very dark mark as opposed to soft charcoal, which, which looks extremely dark. And I like drawing with the dark soft charcoal because it visually for the video, it, it looks great, but I feel like I have just a little bit more control when I put less on less darkness because I can always add. Now, what was I just working on? Oh yeah. Okay, so sometimes I do forget what I was working on. So I'm working on the shadow behind the nose here. And if you look in the photo, it's pretty dark, but it's not, it's maybe not the darkest thing in the picture. So, but it's, it's darker than I have it. So I'm gonna darken it. Um, I'm gonna put all of the, my pressure against on my, the palm of my hand. I'm putting pressure on the paper so that the pressure does not go onto the charcoal. So I draw it softly. I don't, I don't have to draw very hard to get a very dark mark. See that? I have to go a little closer to the nose now. Again, um, as I have said, I don't have I don't know where the tip is landing because it's kind of a s pyramid shape at the top of the charcoal. The charcoal comes in the stick in sticks, hard sticks. So when it first, so when you first start using it, it's just like this. It's just square at the end. I, I don't think of it as so much as it really doesn't matter where the tip lands because I'm putting charcoal in this area. That's all I'm doing. I'm just putting charcoal here so that I have charcoal to move around with my blending stick. This is a shade lighter, uh, darker than it. This needs to be a shade darker right here. One shade darker. And then this needs to be one or two shades darker right here, but not completely dark. And I'm gonna use a blending stick later. Okay, now the lips, I have been, I have not been working on the lips at all. I'm working everything around the features. I, I'm really interested over here in this jawline because um, it needs it needs improvement. Now the photo I'm working with does not give me much to work with, as you can see. So I kind of have to just imagine a shape here and I have to make it look three dimensional. The darkest part will be here, but the light source is making it so that it's not gonna be that dark. So I just kind of have to make do with what I have in terms of how much darkness I can use. There's a lot I can do to improve this. Also could ruin the picture with overworking it too. So there's a little risk involved here. Again, it's hard charcoal. I, I really could work with anything I wanted to. I could work with the soft charcoal. There's no reason for me to choose this other than I just kind of feel like choosing it. So now I'm seeing really cool shadows over here behind the ear. I'm going to put that in. You can see it in the photo. I'll bring the photo over. It may not look important, but I feel like it. it is. I don't know whether it is important or not. It doesn't artistically. It just... It is important to me, I guess. I really want to do something where more than one person draws the same face. If there's artists watching this, I would love to do a collaboration where we both draw the same face. And I love how we are going to interpret the face differently. I feel like I can see infinite worlds in these shadows. But I, I don't think anybody knows what I mean when I say that, really. I don't even know if I know what I mean.
Okay, now, uh, what I mean by that is really just, I know right here, it's the limits, it's just run, I'm running into graphite. So I need to make it look realist, more realistic. Then I want to add these spatial clues so that your eye goes around the corner, even though it doesn't see anything there. But I have to be careful because I don't want to call too much attention to the ear. Oh, looks like I'm at the end of my time. So I'm going only 10 minute videos right now. Later on, maybe, who knows, I could do longer videos. People just need to let me know in the comments what they want. Okay, bye.